Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Cucumber series. So today in this video, we are going to see about data tables. Okay. So what is data tables? So data table also it's one of the alternative options where you can send your data to your particular step tables. So in earlier cases, we have seen about the examples where we have to define our scenario outline. So with the scenario outline, in the examples, we were sending some keywords that we want to type or enter or pass it as a parameter, correct? Right? So similarly, we have one more topic, I mean, one more option in the Cucumber, which is called data tables. So you can pass your data like this, followed by your step definition. For example, we are given the following, uh, given the following animals, right? So cow, horse, uh, sheep is given. So these are the animals they want to pass it as a data table. Instead of sending as a scenario outline with the examples, okay? So here you can see uh, when you go to the, the, this uh, particular page, and here you can see data tables uh, from the Jerkins can be accessed by using the data table as an object. Okay, and uh, this can be accessed by any one of the following collections, which is uh, list list string, or uh, list map string, or map string, or map string list string. So map string as a map string again. Okay, so these are the collections uh, by following any one of this collections method, you can you can easily retrieve or redirect your data tables value that you are sending from the feature file. Okay. So that is what we are going to see. We can use any one of the collections option here, which is given here, like a list list, list map, map string, map string list, map string, map string again. Okay. So now uh, I'm so we'll be seeing how to do by using the list as well as we'll do how to uh, do via map also. Okay. So let's go here. Uh, the same scenario, I'm going to create one more uh, scenarios, uh, the same use case, right? So we are just going to the Google and we are typing some keywords and we are clicking on the enter, right? So the same scenario I'm going to take. So I'm going to create one more scenario here. Uh, let me name this as um, Google search using data table, okay? So this is a scenario name uh, and we will be writing that code. So here we have already given in the background. So that background will be doing the Google search. It will launch the Google page here, okay? So let me go to uh, write something like, then I search for, I search the below keywords, okay? So in, in, Previous case uh, where we used as a scenario outline in the examples, we were using as a keyword, as a tag, right? So this tag value, you can pass it in the examples. So now what I'm going to do, instead of passing this, I'm going to type the keywords here. It's again, same pipe symbol, keyword one, okay? And I'm going to type multiple keywords, so that's the reason I'm putting another keyword also as a header, okay? So this is a header. Now, let me give some keyword like, Cucumber, and here I'm going to type BDD. Okay, I'm going to enter one more um, entry. So Selenium, again here, I'm going to give it as a token. Okay, so now I have two keywords that I have given. So let me count down the rest of the scenarios. Okay, so now this step definition we have to make. This is already being covered in the, uh, in the previous case itself. So now, this is going to search the keywords that we have given as a Cucumber as a first one and the BDG as a second keyword. And again, one more iteration. Okay, this is a data table that, that is going to store in the kind of row column format. Okay, so now uh, let me run this to generate the step definition quickly. Okay, the first step is done because we have already mapped this step definitions. So it got launched in the Google. So the next step is not defined. Okay, so that is what it's asking to implement the missing steps. So I'm just going to copy the step and coming to the step definition class here. So I'm just pasting it here. Okay, so now here you can see uh, we have seen the difference, right? So here you can see write the code turn into one. You can see something is coming as a list, uh, list, list, list map, 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 again map list, everything is coming, right? So here you can see something is coming along with the data table. Okay, io.cucumber data table, right? So this import will automatically get imported here. Otherwise you can get import also. Okay, so now let's delete everything. So what are the data table format is coming, right? So we can retrieve those values by using this concepts. 
collection concept. Okay. So let me delete this. So we have seen first one is a uh, list type. So how to retry the data table value as a form of list. Okay. So now this is a variable uh, that is going to uh, store all the data that is coming from the feature file. Okay. Keyword one as a cucumber and keyword two as a BDD and cucumber. Okay. So now data table is our parameter, which is uh, going to carry uh, all the values or all the data table values that we have given in the feature file. So dot as list, okay? So here you can see, I'm going to select the list list string value, okay, as a data table. So you can use any one of them. Uh, you can use the list and map also. We will be covering as a list as well as map, okay? So this is what we are going to retry. And this is going to be stored in the list list string format, right? So, and what are the value that we are going to get it from the uh, feature file? And we are passing those values as a string value. We can do it as an object also. So now if you go here, um, you can see. So this is this is getting stored as an object. You can retrieve as well as object also, but I'm going to retrieve as a class, I mean string. Okay. So that's the reason I have put as a string dot class. So now if you if you just mouse over here, you can see this. Uh, what is this as list return type is list list string. Okay. So this is what we have to assign this and we have to make it as a one variable. Okay, we have to assign those values in the variable. So I'm going to assign this. So list, list, and the string. And I'm going to give some variable name as list data. Okay, so let me import this list from the Java. Okay, so now what are the value that we have given in the feature file? Okay, these values will come and sit on top of this list data okay now i want to retry the values so for example to check what is coming in the data list data so i'm going to use this list data dot and this is a list so we have to go with a get index of zero and dot a get zero okay so now this is a list that is going to be stored in the table format so here i'm expecting to be printed the keyword called keyword one okay which is coming as my part of better value okay if I want to get print my customer in the console, so what we have to do, this is coming in the first row, right? So because this is a list, it is going to be stored in the zero. So I'm giving as a one comma zero here. Okay, so let me go here and run this scenario. Okay. So it is not going to type anything on the Google. We want to just make sure we are able to retrieve the values successfully or not. Now let's go to the console and see here. Okay, it is getting fetched the keyword one as a header, and you can see one more cucumber also getting printed here. Okay, we are able to successfully read the values from the our data table. Okay, so now let's go and implement the step definition, uh, which is actual step where we are entering the keywords, right? So this is where we are entering the keyword. I'm just copying the pain step, and I'm getting, I mean just pasting it over. So now here I want to enter my keywords that is coming from my data label. So for example, I'm going to enter the first keyword, list data dot data of one dot data of one. Okay. So now when I put as a one of one, then it has to come as a BDD in the, it has to type it as a BDD in the Google search. Otherwise uh, we will read one more thing also. So list data dot get. So first time we will read as one comma zero. Okay, next in the second one, I'm giving it as a space here. So list data dot get of one dot get. Okay, so now I'm expecting. Okay, so now I'm expecting. Let me get it. Okay, now I'm expecting uh, the zero comma one, I mean one comma zero, which is cucumber, and again one comma one, which is BD. Okay, this has to be entered on the Google. Let me run and check. It typed as a cucumber BDD, which is coming from the keyword as the first one. It is cucumber here and BDD here. Okay. 
so that is what got entered in the browser okay so likewise if you want to i mean enter the second one just uh, you have to change the column i mean row value as a two that's it so this is what using as a list value okay so now we'll see the next one as a map so i'm just going to comment out these things okay and let me have this okay this is for list we have seen now i'm going to see for map so again, same data uh, that is coming from the data table, right? So data table, now we are going to get as map, okay? Maps here, yeah, this is what maps, okay? So maps also, we are going to retrieve the values in the form of string, I mean, we are going to pass the value as a string class. So I'm putting as a, again string dot class, okay? So now this, Method right, so this is we have to declare as a list map string of string. Okay, this is what the value. So we have to use this method. Okay, and I'm going to define some variable name map data. Okay, so now uh, in the list we were getting the data as data of zero one right. So in the map we have to go with the keywords. Okay, so let me import this map. Okay, so now let me do the sysout first. So map data dot get of zero index okay, dot get object key. Okay. So here we have to go with the key of the values uh, in the header. Okay. So, so here for example is the keyword is the header. Keyword one. Okay. So now what we are expecting to print in the in the sense. So what the value that we have given in the keyword that has to come here so let me comment out this one also let me run this okay so it got printed as a cucumber here. Okay, we have not typed anything to type on the Google. I mean, we have commented about this line. We have just printed out the values that is coming from the table data table here that is coming as a cucumber here. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to enable this line. Okay, so here using as a instead of list data, I'm going to use as a map, map data. So map data. So instead of getting as a zero here, we have to provide the object key value, which is keyword. Okay, keyword. One. Okay, so here is a keyword one, and here I'm going to copy this. Here I'm going to send it as a keyword two. Okay, and this one is map data. Let me change it to map. So now we are expecting data of one, right? So we are expecting it has to type as a selenium space cucumber. Okay, so now let me run this. Now it has to type as a selenium space Kumba. Let's see. Okay, it is going as a null. Let me check what mistake we have made. Oh, okay, there's a spelling mistake. Okay. Keyword spelling mistake. Here is the spelling mistake. Keyword. Okay, so there is a spelling mistake. I can see. I mean, here you got like this. Keyword. So keyword. So now let me copy this and write it. Okay. Now it should work fine. Okay, now it is working. So this is how we have to use the data table. So when you can use the data table in the sense, so for example, you have something like a form filling, right? So you have to enter your first name, last name, mobile number, email address, everything in a single form. Then instead of going for the uh, examples, you can use this one. Okay, if it is not a multiple, um, I mean, different data set, we have to use only one data set for all the times that you can go as a static value like this. 
So here also, if you want to go for instead of typing one by one, if you want to go in the loop, that is also possible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some for loop here. So the for loop map string string. Yeah, and I'm going to give this name as uh, map data. Yeah, and I'm going to pass the map data to this. Yeah. So enhance the for loop uh, where we can, I mean, you don't want to go by one by one, like a get of one, get of two, nothing like this. Yeah. So now here, let me uh, cut this. And I'm going to give it here. So in this case, what we can do, so instead of putting as get of one, you can directly use this keyword called get keyword. Okay. So because it's going to run in the loop, so it will automatically take the get one iterations. Okay. okay, so here my data, map data. So. Okay, so this is also fine. So now it is going to enter the keywords in the Google. So first time it is going to enter the keyword like the selenium uh, cucumber BDD, which is given in the first one, cucumber BDD. And the second iteration is that just type as selenium cucumber. Okay. So before that, uh, after typing this keyword, right, so we will clear the things. Let me do this. Dot clear method. Okay, we want to see both keywords are, I mean, entering. So that's the reason I can operate the clear keyword, I mean, clear method. Okay, first iteration cucumber BDD is done. Okay, second one is selenium cucumber. So it is it is it is passing the data table value in the right format. We are able to retry the values from the data table also by using as list format as well as the map also. Okay. So instead of using examples all the time, so if there is something something like a static value you want to use for all the time, then we can go for the better data tables. And you can retire the values by using your list and map concept. And you can use the for loop also for entering the things. I mean, for iterating the things. For example, username for uh, username and password, right? So those kind of things are not you can manage in the data table itself. Okay, so that's all about uh, data tables. Maybe if you want to see more further, I mean, uh, remaining collections methods, if you want to use, you can prefer this page. I will give it in the video description. You can watch. I mean, you can have a look at this, how to I mean, do it in a different way other than list and the map also, okay? So that's all about this video. Uh, we'll see the next topic in the next video. Thank you, guys.